Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. E3 2013, Sony had their press briefing. What are my opinions? I'll give you those right after this. You guys are tuned in to So Sony has finally unveiled and showed off its brand new beautifully designed PlayStation 4 console. They showed some games, they showed this, some of the games that they showed back in February. They announced, which to me was the blowout announcement, and that was price. The console is going to be priced at $399. That places them $100 less than the Xbox One. Towards the end of the conference, they just started laying it in. It was like the finale of the 4th of July when all the fireworks just start to go off. They were like, there won't be a 24-hour uh, check-in. You're not required to be online. The console supports used games. Jack Tritton, just that, that crowd, you would have thought you were at an NBA game, a, a WWE pay-per-view, WrestleMania, at, at a football game. It was loud in there from the uproar of the crowd. Uh, we got to see Destiny for the first time. That game looks very interesting, and I definitely can't wait to get my hands on that. I'm a, I'm a big community guy. I love cooperative games, uh, so that game looks like it's going to be really fun. Some of the other stuff that they showed off was uh, a game a game called 18, or The Order 1886. That game looked really, really good, and I, it, it has me interested. It definitely sparked my interest when I saw it. It, it seems like it's... it's it's based in 1886, but has like that futuristic feel to it, just from the weaponry that they showed off during uh, during the gameplay of the game. So they showed off that. Uh, they showed off a, a really nice segment of Watch Dogs. I cannot wait for... Man, words can't explain how excited I am for Watch Dogs. That is my number one anticipated game, and I can't wait for that. Um, to give you guys a personal heads up about me, I pre-ordered the console. Um, so I got both pre-orders in for my Xbox One and for my PlayStation 4. So I can't wait, man. These consoles are finally coming. It's been a long time. Uh, but back to Sony, they, uh, they, what can I, you know, the, the end of that conference, it really didn't matter what was said prior to that point because they just laid in like shots was fired. Like they went hard at Microsoft. It was, <laughs> It was crazy and it was very entertaining at the same time. Um, one thing that they kind of snuck in there, I don't know if a lot of people noticed, uh, was the fact that you have to pay for online now. I know a, a lot of PlayStation gamers have have always uh, uh, kind of teased Xbox gamers at the fact that you have to pay for Xbox Live, but I actually think, I've always said, as long as you deliver a compelling online service, I personally have no issue with paying for online. Plus the additional stuff that you're getting from PlayStation Plus, not to mention day one. Day one, you get Drive Club, Drive Club for free. And that's no, I mean, I would expect something like Mac to be like a free day one game. But Drive Club? That's crazy. And Drive Club's not a game for you to sleep on if you are. But it doesn't matter at this point because if you have PlayStation Plus, it's going to be free. So... Sony uh, definitely had a, 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 a very impressive conference. Um, I, I'm, I'm glad with what I saw. I like the design of the console. Um, uh, it, it's very sleek. It's very, well, I, I wouldn't necessarily say sleek, but it's different. It's definitely very different. I like the design of the console, but to me, I mean, the design of consoles really don't matter to me because, I mean, I, I put them in my entertainment system, and that's really it. Um, my main thing when it comes to consoles is a controller. That's what I'm touching, that's what I'm grabbing, that's what I'm constantly seeing and holding in my hand. So that to me is more important than seeing the design of the console. But nonetheless, Sony finally unveiled it and I'm excited. It's coming with a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Now the information that I'm waiting to hear is, is that 500 gigabyte swappable or not? Uh, will I be able to attach an external hard drive or not? Uh, so those are the things I, I wanna know because I just wanna be prepared day one when I get this console home and I get it in the house like what 
am I able, like, if I can, if I can swap out the hard drive, I'm definitely going to be buying a hard drive and putting my, installing my own one. That's the exact same thing that I did with the PlayStation 3. I got the 20 gigabyte PlayStation 3 model and I had a 250 gig hard drive and I swapped them out day one before I even turn or plug the console up. And that's the same thing I want to do this time around. So I just want to be prepared. I want to budget for it. Just make sure my money's right. And, but at the end of the day, um, I'm excited, man. Now, one thing that they didn't talk about um, is is uh, the the release date. I mean, they didn't even give a a release window. It just, just holiday. That's always holiday 2013, not October, not November, December. And another thing, I don't know if you guys noticed, but they said that the console is launching in the U.S. and Europe this fall. Let me repeat that. The U.S. and Europe this fall. What about Japan? Like, that's their home territory. Granted, Japan isn't what it once was earlier on. Uh, they're, they're, as you, If you look at the sales, I mean, I believe the PlayStation 3 only sold 9 million over there, uh, which 9 million is nothing to frown upon. But at the same time, compared to the U.S. and Europe, I guess they just aren't taking Japan as a serious market. I mean, obviously are. Maybe it's because, and it's what I know, they know they're going to win in Japan. So whether you, why go there first? The battlegrounds is the U.S. and Europe. Hit those two markets first. And I completely understand it, and I'm happy that they did it. Sony's being very aggressive this go-around, and it's good. You can see that they've learned their lessons from the PlayStation 3, and I'm happy about that. Now I'm just waiting for them to finish giving the final details of it. Um, other than that, I thought it was a great conference. I thought both conferences were great. I felt Ubisoft's conference was a little on the slow side, but I did like that game, uh, Tom Clancy's uh, The Division. That game definitely sparks my interest. Uh, also, the, uh, the uh, co-op racing game they showed, The Crew, I believe is what it's called. Uh, forgive me, I can't remember right now, but I believe it's called The, I believe it's called the Crew. Um, Definitely uh, takes uh, some of the elements from Drive Club, but uh, not as uh, more of an art, arcade style wrestling, or what am I saying, uh, racer, than uh, uh, what Drive Club is. But um, EA, uh, they really didn't show anything of interest for me. I mean, uh, Star Wars Battlefront, I know a lot of people was excited about that, but all in all, uh, good conferences today. EA's was okay, Ubisoft's was okay. Um, I felt that Microsoft did exactly what they said they were going to do, and that was deliver on games, and I felt that they did that. They had a solid conference. Sony came out. They had a solid conference, and then to undercut Microsoft and come out in $399, and then, you know, just just they just kept coming at them with, you know, no 24 online check. Like, Sony went in, but at the end of the day, I felt that Microsoft and both Sony did what they both needed to do. Now it's up to gamers to do what they need to do. Did you guys go out and pre-order your console? I pre-ordered both. But I'm curious to see what you guys did or what you plan on doing if you haven't already. Hit me up in the comments section. Let me know what you guys think. How you guys feel about what you guys saw. What games are you guys looking forward to. Let's talk, people. I'm your host, DLB. Make sure you guys check out the podcast on dlb-network.com or search for it in iTunes, dlb-network. I'm out, people. Follow me on Twitter, at dlb23. Peace.